stroke care has changed um, dramatically in recent years. I uh, was in hospital for a total of 16 weeks, which is ridiculous. People stay in hospital now up post-stroke for a few days, perhaps. <clears throat> but um, I don't. I have sort of mixed feelings about my care at the time. I developed spasticity, although I, I probably didn't even realise that's what it was. Um, quite early on, um, during my hospital stay, you know, I eventually got to the stage where uh, it was felt that I should, I could use a wheelchair. Now this was a big liberating experience for me, rather than being confined to bed. I now had a chance to at least move around the hospital department and I used it to the full um, and to the extent that <clears throat> the physician who was responsible for my care said that um, I would do myself damage by doing so much traveling around with my a wheelchair. It was a manually operated wheelchair so I had to use my good right hand to propel myself and um, eventually the physician said you will never use your left arm again and apparently because I was using my right, right arm too much this had provoked um, the reaction in my, in my left arm which was affected <clears throat> and although I was rather upset by that remark. Sadly, um, it has proved to be true and I've not used my left arm at all and I can't. And I still suffer um, from spasticity uh, in my arm, particularly my hand and wrist. <clears throat> Otherwise, um, I have good recollections of my care. I, I was greatly assisted by the physiotherapists with whom I came in contact and I had lots of physiotherapy, probably more than was um, due to me from the NHS, but I kept insisting that it, I needed it. <laughs> and um, the, the other thing to say is that uh, amongst the team, because I was in a, in a beacon centre for stroke care, which meant that all the staff required to, to give adequate attention to stroke survivors were present and um, I received enormous help from a clinical psychologist and I can't emphasize enough how useful that uh, facility was and subsequently um, I was able to in a sense pay the profession back a little because uh, I became a member of a patient and care group associated with the Doctorate in Clinical Psychology training program at Lancaster University. And this has been one of the most satisfying of my patient and public involvement um, activities over the years. I'm still involved. <laughs>